today I'm gonna show you how to make a Spanish bread. Um, I'm gonna make my filling myself and also uh, the dough is very simple. And if you're new to our channel, please hit that subscribe button below and the bell. That way you will get notification whenever I upload a new video. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for joining with me here today as I show you how to make a Spanish bread. So here are the ingredients that we're going to use for this. I have bread flour, melted butter, milk, two eggs, sugar, salt, rapid rice yeast. And for the filling, oh, my husband was talking, didn't know I was videoing. And for the filling, I am going to use the obe and the bread that I slice into cubes. Then I'm going to use one cup of um, milk and then half a cup of sugar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to soak the bread uh, with the milk and I'm going to let them soak for about five minutes before I cook my filling. So let's get started. All right, everyone, this is my bread. So I'm going to let this soak in the one cup of milk. Well, I might need to add one more cup. So I'm going to use two cups for the filling. That way all the bread will soak and be saggy. All right, guys, I went and got another cup of milk. So I'm going to pour this in my bread mixture. Hold on. Uh, I'm gonna let this soak for five minutes before I start uh, cooking my filling. So, all right, in this bowl, I'm gonna pour my flour. I'm just gonna mix this by hand and then I'm gonna knead it. Then, I'm gonna pour my sugar, my salt. my yeast then I'm gonna mix this by hand sorry I washed my hand today all right this is how my dad used to mix our the flour so now I'm gonna add my eggs my butter and then my milk then I'm, I'm gonna mix this until all the ingredients are well combined all right this is uh, I'm gonna mix this until all the ingredients are well combined and you can use your uh, bread maker or hand mixer whatever but I just didn't want to use mine. I already used it earlier. I'm just going to keep mixing until all the ingredients are well combined. And then I'm going to need this for probably 15 minutes. It's going to be my workout. I'm gonna continue mixing this one and then I'll be back. All right, everyone, I have my cutting board in here. This is my, I love using this because I can need this. All right, I'm gonna transfer this and I'm gonna need this one until the, the mixture is kinda rubbery. I'm gonna need this for about 15 minutes, I think. So I'm gonna let them time put a timer on me. So I'll be back as oh my goodness. Let's see. 
All right, I'm gonna continue kneading this one until it's done. So my dough is done. I need this for 15 minutes and I transfer this on, on this bowl right here. I put oil that way it won't stick. So I'm gonna let this rise for two hours or longer until my dough is double its size. So I'll be back. Hi everyone, I'm gonna use this skillet right here and make my uh, OB filling for my Spanish bread. This is similar to, this is just really the same to the one I have for the obe. So I'm going to put my bread and uh, I'm going to bring this to boil. Then I will add my obe and sugar. Oh, my bread is uh, boiling so I'm going to go ahead and add my sugar. <coughs> And my obe. And everyone, if you want this to be more purple color, you can uh, add uh, food coloring. It's purple, or you can add blue and red part, uh, coloring, food coloring, which I think what I'm gonna do. We'll see. So yes, I'm gonna drop a few of the food coloring here. I'm gonna use red and blue. I'm gonna do six of the blue. And then six of the red. You can add more if you want to get the color that you want. Just keep mixing this until all the ingredients are well combined. I want this filling to be thick and um, not like this. It's not thick enough. So I'm going to add a few more drops of the blue, probably three. I don't have any purple coloring, so I'm just gonna use the red and blue. So I'm gonna keep mixing this everyone until I get the right texture of this filling. Make sure your heat is in medium high, that way you don't burn the bottom. All right, everyone, my OB filling is done. So I'm gonna turn up my heat and put this aside and um, wait until my dough is finished rising. So I'll be back. All right, I flatten out the, the dough and press the air packet. I let the, all the air out, I think I did. So now I'm gonna divide this into four. And I'm gonna measure each of the bread to two ounces. That way, you know, it's all equal for everybody. Let's see. I kind of add this because uh, I'm gonna cut them about one inch, really. One inch or something like that, one inch. Some is four, so I'm gonna cut a little. Cause I want it to be equal. So I'm going to keep doing this until I finish cutting all the dough and then I'm going to start doing my Spanish bread. So I'll be back.
all right everyone my spanish bread is finally done this is my last bread for tonight so uh, i'm gonna let this cool down and move them in uh in a tray so thank you for watching everyone and if you like this video please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and i will see you all again on my next video Bye bye